In this lesson, we are going to make a data set that could be used for statistical analysis, but we're going to start with some sort of uh, proceedings in GIS. And we've got four different files, and they're all taken from OpenStreetMap and contain information about the Greater Stockholm area. So we've got points of interest, uh, which have been projected to Sveref, which is a Swedish reference system, so it works better and gets metered rather than degrees as it is in the VGS84. Um, and these are the various kinds of, of places and spots in the Greater Stockholm area. If I right click on them, I could see a lot of different sort of things, university, swimming pool, ATM, hotels and so forth and so forth. Uh, we have made a selection of these, from these, which contains the cafes. So that's sort of the a smaller population taken from the bigger uh, red population, which is just the cafes, so it's not much to show within. And from another uh, set of variables, also from OpenStreetMap, we've got the railroads, or the rail, not railroads, but rather the stations where the rail stops. So you've got any kind of, of uh, rail to transport and where they could stop are situated there. And finally we've got the parks. Various kinds of parks and places where you've got green urban areas in the inner parts of the city. The idea of today's lesson is to create some set of variables that could be used to understand why we've got cafes where we've got. And we are not in any way trying to say that this is the best model or even a good model in any way, but it's a, it's a demonstration of how you can construct proxies or variables that could be included in a statistical analysis just using what you've got from OpenStreetMap. So let's begin. The first thing I want you to do is actually to create the distance or calculate the distance between the cafes and some other points. And I think, strictly hypothetically speaking, that there ought to be a correlation between the distance between the railroad stations, which to me suggests that you've got some kind of central, you've got some sort of situation where people tend to live or walk or being active. And the other one would be centrality to parks, where you've got green areas where people spend their days and relax and leisure and time and stuff like that. So the first thing we would do is actually look into that there's a very good function called near. And the near function is search, searchable by using the search window and go for near and you get the analysis near. If I click that one, I input the uh, cafe project use function and I ask for the park in this case. And it's simply what we need to do. If we make sure that we've got the meters as a unit of measurement and we click OK, it will think for a little while and then it will create a, a sort of a value in the open attribute table. Let me see here. Nope, not there, but of course there, where we got uh, the identification number of the park. Park number 371 is the closest to, part, to, to Cafe Zero and to Cafe One and the distance is 169 and 175 meters representativity. Um, what we want to do now is to reformulate this into a new variable. First of all, I don't really believe that the centimeters are imported, so we could truncate it. And I, I mean, when you're dealing with statistics, especially scale statistics, you don't really need to do that. But in this case, I want to also teach the lesson. So a very easy way of truncating the data is when we construct a new field, let's call it dist park, is to, to show something like a short integer, a long integer, which cannot hold decimals at all. So just chose any of these, press OK, and thereafter do the simple thing like right click on the dist park variable, choose field calculator, and choose near dist, double click. Then it will take the value, but it will make it similar to the um, sort of decimal value there is. So as you can see, the distance to the park becomes 170 meters rather than 169. Next phase would be to calculate the distance to something else. We could, of course, we see first of all that we made sure that everything was taken care of. What we want to do is actually to remove 
uh, the near distance from the other fields because they are going to be replaced. In, in reality you don't need to but from a pedagogical point of view I think it's better to do it now because in the next phase we want to calculate the distances between the cafes and the uh, the railroad stations to see if that's sort of a positive correlation or a negative when it comes to the analysis eventually. So we again click for the near, we include uh, the cafe projects and the near features would be the railroad stations and again we press OK and we wait for it and when the calculation is ready we've got a new file called near dist and as we did last time we do the following we calculate the distance to station uh, and we could choose just to show that it works this time to keep the decimals we make use of a, of a double um, they want me to truncate the name uh, of course I can do that so dist statio instead we go for that one and I right click and choose field calculator and the field calculator should be equal to near dist and as you can see the values have been cloned this time again I can delete the field and I can delete the field. Right, 